This is to provide some transparency and understanding about what's going on out there in real people's lives. This virtual public meeting, an opportunity for those who lost their jobs due to coronavirus to complain about problems getting unemployment benefits. The phone lines are really pretty impossible to get through. Like you can be, you can call thousands and thousands of times and be unable to get through. If you do get through on one of them, you'll end up in a circle and then get disconnected. It's it's, it's soul crushing. Who's being held accountable for all these lives that are being ruined by this? People that haven't been paid in two months or more and small businesses that are just, they're, they're never going to recover. No one can get answers and it's just a shame and people are crying. I've seen it. It's just, it's horrible. 270 out of more than 1,100 people were chosen to give public testimony to members of the Senate Finance and Budget and Taxation Committees. In response, the Maryland Department of Labor sent out this update. Nearly 328,000 unemployment claims have been paid since the beginning of the pandemic. 90% of the payments have been received by claimants within 21 days. In 2019, the department had a total of over 214,000 claims. Also, since Saturday, the state has paid 56,000 pandemic unemployment assistance claims, totaling $165 million. Labor Secretary Tiffany Robinson blames the unprecedented numbers of claims and challenges getting through constantly changing federal guidelines. Please know that we are listening. We know what needs to be improved. We are focusing on getting it done. We will not be satisfied until every Marylander gets the relief they need and deserve, she said. Some in the virtual meeting offered suggestions for improvement, others praised unemployment workers. The people who do work for unemployment who are trying to help and I know it's been awful for them because a lot of people are not so nice, but I will tell you the Salisbury office, and I live in Pasadena, Maryland, but the Salisbury office has been very helpful for me. Now this hearing is expected to last another four hours. The Labor Department is expected to testify tomorrow during a virtual hearing for a House committee. Reporting live from downtown Baltimore, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV 11 News.